Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. And there's been some awesome announcements this week, including a massive price reduction for EFS infrequent access. Port forwarding is now available using Systems Manager Session Manager. SageMaker Notebooks now export Jupyter Logs to CloudWatch. Container monitoring for Amazon ECS, EKS, and Kubernetes is now available in Amazon CloudWatch. And we announced the winner of Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Faye Ellis. And me, Ryan Krunenberg. AWS have just announced a massive price reduction for Elastic File System Infrequent Access. And if you haven't used EFS before, it's a fully managed network file system for Linux-based systems, either running in AWS or in your own data center. And with a new price reduction, you can now save up to 92% on file storage costs when using EFS Infrequent Access with lifecycle management, meaning that you can store files for as little as eight cents per gig per month, assuming that 20% of your data is actively used and 80% is infrequent frequently access. Port forwarding is now available for Systems Manager Session Manager, and port forwarding is really similar to SSH tunneling, which allows you to establish a secure tunnel between your local machine and a remote system to access services which are not exposed to the public internet. And the great thing about this announcement is that you can now create a secure tunnel between your local machine and instances deployed in a private subnet without using SSH or configuring security groups or using a Bastion host. SageMaker Notebooks now export Jupyter Logs to CloudWatch. And if you haven't used SageMaker before, it's a fully managed service that allows you to build, train, and deploy machine learning models in AWS. And this new announcement is great because it means that you can now view your SageMaker logs in CloudWatch. So you can view events, metrics, and health information directly from CloudWatch instead of having to log into your notebook terminals to access the logs. You can also use the built-in functionality of CloudWatch to detect anomalies, set alarms, and send automated notifications. And it also has the added benefit that the logs are available even if the notebook instance is offline or unresponsive. You can now monitor, isolate, and diagnose your containerized applications using CloudWatch Container Insights. And this is a great new feature which allows you to view automated dashboards summarizing the performance and health of Elastic Container Service, Elastic Container Service for Kubernetes, and Kubernetes clusters by pod, node, namespace, task, container, and service. And this is great because it makes it really easy to troubleshoot infrastructure and performance issues and really see what's going on in your containerized environments. So on to the winner of Guru of the Week. And the correct answer this week was C. And the person with the best answer was Matthias Dicali, who's a DevOps engineer from Argentina. So congratulations, Matthias. There is a Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and hand-signed card on their way to you in the post. And you were also in the draw to win the free ticket to reInvent 2020. So please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our forum. And that is all from us. You've been watching AWS this week. Keep, Keep being, being awesome, awesome Cloud, Cloud Gurus. Gurus. And we'll see you next time. OK, hello, Cloud Gurus, and welcome to AWS this week. And there are some awesome announcements this week, including a Bonza price reduction in EFS in <laughs> <laughs> Bonza! Aussie to the max! Uh, yeah. Alright, starting again. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be able to not laugh. Alright, start again. Yeah.